Howdy. Uh, I have a bunch of updates for my ink handwriting plugin today. Um, I've been working pretty hard on it the last, uh, prob I guess, week. Um, so let's have a look. So here's the GitHub repository. Uh, it still says release 0.1.19. That's the latest live release that you can get from um, the Obsidian repository. But uh, if you click into releases, you'll see there's 0.1.192 and that's a list of everything that's been done. Um, so let's go through those now. So the first one is uh, well, a, a few of them, uh, I'll, I'll just step through them. Well, I'll step through them at the end. I'll show the, the more fun ones first. Um, so if I add in some handwriting, you'll notice now it was a little bit animated. The line here is a little bit brighter. Um, and if I write, um, you'll notice that as I write, it doesn't keep shifting down. Um, it's only once I pass a certain threshold that it that it does that and it's a little bit animated now as well um, then if I lock it it keeps the lines there and it keeps the background there so it just makes it a little bit more visible for you and also I've adjusted the padding below and above so you can more easily tell where you can click in order to add new stuff in so let me add uh, something else and writing I'll add some more I'll lock that now I'll go back to this one I'll add some more and I'll lock that you'll notice everything moves around really nicely now um, if we go to drawings similar thing um, the background is there by default, the drawings don't have a background when you lock them, but all of this is modifiable. So if I go to the settings and go to ink, there are now two more settings under writing. You can show ruled lines when not editing, show background when not editing. Maybe I'll just turn off one of those. And for drawing, I'll say show frame around drawing when not editing, and I'll leave off the background and I'll turn that off. Doesn't update immediately now, so I do have to close this file and then open it again. Let me go to, uh, I think, Recents. Oh, where is it? I'll just find it, I think 12. So if I open that again, you'll see now we don't have a background on those handwriting sections, but we still have the lines because we kept them on. Um, but And we have a frame border around this drawing now. Now, if I edit that, the, the sizing still shifts of this. Um, that's scrolling back up, I think, because the, the page is really short, but um, the sizing still shifts and I'll adjust that when I get to those camera settings. But remember, you can always go to this overflow menu here, which you can't see in the recording, but if you click on those three dots, you can click open drawing and then it opens in a an infinite canvas. So now I can kind of draw whatever I want, wherever I want, and then I can go back and it's updated. Now that was already a thing, but I, I don't think I'd showed it in, shown it in a video. Um, all of this is now saved as SVGs. So um, it's crystal clear, even if you zoom in, um, they're all vector. Um, what that means is I no longer save the PNGs anymore to the folder. Um, so if you're using them for anything, uh, you might have to make some adjustments. I know one person was using it to kind of move those into Google Keep and do OCR on them. Um, so you'll just have to take a screenshot of what's on screen and uh, save that file and then OCR that. But we'll sort that out in the future some, to be a bit better as well. Um, I think that's it. So that's the main stuff. It all works much nicer now. If I jump back to the changes, so there's a few issues that I um, fixed um, that people have requested. So um, issue 30, prevent sidebars, sidebars opening when swiping horizontally in edit mode. So on mobile or tablet, if you swiped horizontally, 
it would open up the side obsidian bars so it doesn't do that now uh, it's now easier to tap on the toolbar buttons before if you slipped slightly with your pen it would not activate the button so that's fixed um, lines and backgrounds are now colored by CSS so because they're SVG I can color them via CSS which means the dark and light mode changes are immediate previously because it was saved as a PNG if you change to light mode or dark mode maybe it was because you wanted to print a PDF that was one person's example um, it wouldn't update those PNGs you'd have to open the writing again edit it and lock it again to, to get that working so now you can see these here uh, I'm in dark mode and so they're light lines on there but if I jump to the settings and go to light mode you'll see it's automatically updated. The CSS handles that immediately. So that's a really nice little change. It should make things easier for those people switching back and forth. Um, and I think that's it. So if you want to get this one immediately, you've got to do it via the Brat installation. Um, but uh, at some point after some people have tested this and it's working okay, then I'll update this to the main version so you can wait for that as well. And that's it. Thank you for joining. Um, look forward to doing some more stuff later. Let me know how you go with this. Leave a comment on, on YouTube. Um, subscribe to hear more updates and, and like this video. Um, it all really helps me um, stay motivated and, and realize that people are really liking, uh, are actually liking this plugin and, and keep working on it. So thanks heaps for tuning in if you did. See ya.